Hello, this is Jessica McKay with your Spirit Guide reading for November. Go ahead and take a moment to connect with yourself, connect with Spirit Guides, and just intuit which message is best for you for this month. Number one, number two, or number three. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. And so if you were drawn to message number one, the first card that came up is the Devil. Now don't worry, this is not a negative card. It's actually a very positive card. Um, and what it means is that there is some place in your life where you have been feeling stuck, trapped, limited, or helpless. And spirit guides want you to know that you are never stuck. It just looks like it is. So often when we feel stuck, it's because we're trying to please other people or we think that we have to do something in a particular way and there's no other way that we can do it. And this card usually comes up for people right before they're about to have a huge breakthrough. And that breakthrough is another way of seeing all of a sudden seeing possibilities or seeing resources that didn't exist before. And this is also about um, realizing that, that there's always another way. There's always a way out of something that really doesn't serve you. Um, if we're talking about a job where you have felt stuck for a really, really long time, there are things you can do. There's, there are other paths that you can take. You don't have to keep going down one road, even though it gets darker and darker and darker. You can turn around, walk back the opposite way that you came. You can look around for um, other possibilities. And a lot of times with this card, it manifests as depression deep depression, sadness, and that's because of feeling trapped, feeling like nothing is changing, and no matter how much you knock on a door, it just won't open. And what I'm getting from Spirit Guides is that when a door isn't open, it doesn't mean that you can't have the dream that you're dreaming, but it might come to you in a totally different form. So that's what this is really about, seeing the alternate possibilities that exist, or not even seeing them, you don't have to magically create them, but just be open to them. Be open to something else happening. You have no idea what the next moment of your life might entail. So live that way, endeavor to live that way. I know it's hard, uh, but you're not trapped, you're not stuck. So things are about to start moving and shifting for you. So that is message number one. If you were drawn to message number two, the card that came up is the Four of Wands. And I really like this imagery. It reminds me of um, when I was a kid in school, sometimes we used to make this arts and crafts Thing called a God's Eye and you would take two sticks and put them in a cross and you would go around with colored yarn and it would create this kind of diamond shape and and it was called a God's Eye and so my sense too is that this message like message number one is about seeing is about suddenly seeing things in a new way so it's like the gray curtain of the world that you've been looking at rolls back and you can suddenly see a situation a person um, something else that you've been struggling with in a whole new way and i love this color blue in the center of the card and what that is um reminding me of is intuition and that you are going to be able to use your intuition now that your third eye is expanding opening to see so sometimes if we don't see something with our physical eyes we can feel it intuitively we can know it it can come by knowing so my sense is that your intuitive gifts are opening up for you in your life so you may want to develop those um, and then the other message that comes through with this card is that it's there's something that you have worked really hard to achieve, something that you have 
created, have manifested. And so you deserve to be praised for that. So this card, this message is congratulating you for getting to where you are today. You wanted something, you worked for it, and you got it. And so it's like your spirit guides are cheering for you in the background. So that's message number two. So take the time to, you know, give yourself a pat on the back and to just feel good about how far you've come. If you were drawn to message number three, the card that came up is judgment. And I just love the imagery on this. And I get the feeling when I look at this that you are the white bird up here. And that in some way, you are a way shower for other people. You are a beacon of light for them just by being yourself. You don't have to actually do anything. I feel like you've done everything already in order to, um, to inspire others just by the way that you live, by the way that you are. Um, so this could also manifest as feeling as though you can mentor someone or be a coach or a counselor, or even through writing. This might come through writing where you write something that means a lot to you and it ends up inspiring others. This card is about rebirth. It's about coming out of a difficult time or having worked your way out of a difficult time. And now, because of that, because of what you went through, you are an inspiration to other people. So um, really, really inspirational, really dramatic, um, and very celebratory. So I feel that this is also reason for you to celebrate. So I hope that these messages were helpful to you. If they were, please let me know. And I'll see you again next time.